All right, next we're going to be studying um, volume of composite figures. So a composite figure is a figure, a 3D shape that's made up of more than one 3D shape. So for example, one, we have a composite figure that's made of two rectangular prisms. Um, composite figure two, example two, is made up of a triangular prism that has a cylinder that's going to be taken out of it. So if you could see this in different colors, it might be a little bit better for those of you who print it in color, um, but this is actually hollow inside if we could see like a better picture. So um, for example, one, we're gonna be adding the two shapes together. For example, two, we're gonna be taking the triangular prism, the outside shape and subtracting the inside shape from it. So if we look at the first example, we're gonna have the top triangular, or sorry, rectangular prism and the bottom rectangular prism. We're going to find both of those volumes. We're just gonna go ahead and add them together. So here, we, I'm gonna go ahead and think of these as like the base. Um, and then these kind of is like the height over here. So the base is a length of two. That's a length of two. And then here it says that the width of the base is one. The width of this base is 0.5. All the measurements are in feet. And so for the top rectangular prism, the area of the base is going to be two multiplied by 0.5. So the area of the base is two multiplied by 0.5 and two times 0.5 is one, but squared. And then the volume is gonna be the area of the base multiplied by the height of the rectangular prism. And for that one, it happens to be four. So four feet cubed. Uh, for the bottom rectangular prism, we're gonna find the area of the base. And then this one is gonna be two multiplied by one foot. So two times one is two feet squared. And then the volume there is two, the area of the base multiplied by the height of that rectangular prism, which is six. So that's 12 feet squared, feet cubed, sorry. So then if we want to know the total volume for that composite shape, we're just gonna add those together. Four plus 12 gives you 16 cubic feet for the entire shape. And we're finished with that one. So pretty simple. For the next one, we have the triangular prism, which is outside, and the cylinder, which is inside. So I'm going to go ahead and say outside, which is the triangular prism. So the area of the base there, the triangle shape has a height of five feet and a base of six feet. So I'm gonna say one half times a base of six times a height of five. That's one half of 30, which is 15. And so then the volume is the area of the base, which is 15, and then the height of the prism would be four. So this, the triangular prism is actually flipped on its side. So we know about prisms that prisms always go straight up and down. And so this prism, it doesn't really go straight up and down the way it's oriented. That triangular prism would be flipped on its side. So area of the base is a triangle with an area of 15. The height of the prism is 4. So 15 multiplied by 4 is 60 um, feet cubed. And then we have the inside shape, which is the cylinder. And so the area of the base of the cylinder, that's gonna be a circle. The circle has a diameter of two feet. And if the diameter is two feet, then that means that the radius is one foot. So when we find the area of the base for the cylinder, we're gonna say pi times the radius squared, that's just one pi. And so we've got one pi, um, for the volume we've got one pi multiplied by the height of the cylinder, which is gonna be the same as the height of the prism, so multiplied by four. So that's four pi feet cubed. And so then when we want to find the total volume for that composite shape, we're gonna do the outside minus the inside. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and type this on a graphing calculator. 
since I don't really have Desmos handy for this video. So 60 minus 4 pi decimals kind of work well when we have a mixture of pi and regular numbers like that. So 60 minus 4 pi is approximately 47.434 feet cubed. All right, and for the first day of practice, we're going to go ahead and leave our composite shapes to figures like this. Um, and then we're going to take some extra notes using problems that are a little bit more like story problems like this. We're going to do that a little bit more focused on our second day of practice. So don't try to do these examples on your own. We will save those for later. Okay.